<laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello and welcome. It is what we on Wednesday, the 9th of February, 2022. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Hello there, Headline Roblox. Hello there, Squid. How are you doing? Right, okay, first things first. Looks like, looks like we've got a bit of an update for Minecraft, okay? So I'm going to read this. It's Minecraft 1.18.10 update. Hmm, should be interesting. Let's have a read of this in a minute. Hello there, Denton. Hello, Odin. Hello, Odin. Woo! Hello Excalibur, and there's a bot, I'm not wearing my hat though, so, um, you know, maybe I could switch my ponytail, I, I don't know what I'm going to do today for the bots, I'm not wearing a hat, so, um, you know, I can't do that. Anyway, without further ado, there's a bit of an update, let's have a look what this is all about. Right, okay, so I'm going to read it out, Minecraft 1.18.10 uh, update. It's time for a new Minecraft update. This time around, we're bringing a boatload of fixes and quality of life changes with well over a hundred fixes. Uh, there's a lot to cover. Let's dive into the highlights. Let's dive in there. So what they added, they've added a global, uh, they've added a globe pattern banner. I don't know what that is. I'm sure we'll find out. Hello there, Titus. Hello, <laughs> how's Titus today? Uh, they've, uh, iron golems now show different degrees of cracking depending on their health. Interesting. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, like a block when you attack it or when you, you know, break it down, it shows cracks. So iron golems, are, um, when you attack them, they show cracks. Oh, interesting, interesting. Hello there, Molly. How's Molly doing today? Hope you're doing well, Molly. What else we got then? They've updated several more textures to match Java Edition. Well, 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 well. They've updated some textures to match the Java Edition. Ooh, ooh. Hello there, Logan. Hello, Grape Knox. How are you two today? How are you doing? I'm just reading the update notes here. Uh, Molly's doing okay. Awesome sauce. That's what we like. There's a new, new experimental features with frogs and tadpoles. Frogs and tadpoles? I suppose tadpoles have got to be in, because tadpoles, they're like baby frogs, aren't they? That's where frogs come from. Uh, there's a huge amount of bug fixes and parity changes. Ooh, oh, that sounds good, whatever that means. Uh, um, it says also, check out AK blah, 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 to read the full list of changes. Starting today, you can also download uh, the new Puma race map for free. Is there some kind of some kind of sponsorship here going on? Uh, uh, Puma apparently have sponsoring Minecraft. Ooh, maybe we'll get a new pair of trainers in there, or a nice Puma tracksuit, or something. I don't know. Uh, Starting today, you can also download the new Puma race map for free. The map includes a city, Arctic, and Puma-inspired jungle. Ooh, how about that? Anyway, bugger that. Let's get in. I've just read that. Get out of my face. Go on. Get out of here. Anyway, Logan can't stay long. You've got to get back to schoolwork. Hey, Logan, schoolwork is important, my friend. Hope you're doing well at school there. All right then, let's jump in. Uh, um, I've had a few ideas uh, um, regarding, you know, things in the realm. Um, let me just make sure my TV's turned down. Yep, it is. Uh, um, so, yeah, uh, um, do you know? Oh, no! No, right, okay, I've got to go through this rigmarole. I've got to close. All right, here we go. Update day, bloody hellfire. Oh, 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 uploading world. What the juff and all of that? So I've just got to close the realm and reopen it. So just bear with me while I do that. Um, is it in manage realm? I can never remember where this is. Uh, close realm. Yes, we're going to close it and then we're going to reopen it again. And that normally updates it. I'll have to do this for uh, Pogtopia as well, I think. Uh, um, right, okay. So, open realm. Let's open it. I now declare this realm open. Right, and let me go into it as well. Because um, I think I have to go into it for it to fully update. So, we'll do that for the first one. There's always a little bit of, 
you know, it's always a bit dodgy, isn't it, when you get an update. There's uh, there's realms to update. There's um, two realms, in fact. I've got to do Pogtopia as well. Maybe I should do that in a moment. Uh, Squid's joined. Hello there, Squid. Squid's in the realm. Oh, yeah, by the way, do you like what I've done uh, above the uh, the mine? I thought, you know, instead of just putting, like, a, um, a little sign, I've, um, it does actually say, like, community mine. Uh, um, but I thought, you know what? Why don't we um, why don't we put like a bit of pixel art there? You know, this is a mine, so I can tell people when they go like, because they will. Uh, tyke, tyke. Uh, let me put the glasses on when I do this voice. I feel like I've got to put the glasses on. Uh, excuse me, Tyke. Uh, I'm new in the realm. Where can I go to do my mining? <clears throat> well. My friend, my new friend, if you head out of town and look for the pixel art, the huge pickaxe, underneath that, there's a mine. Now, obviously, I've not actually finished. I need to work on the mine, actually. I could do some of that later on. I still need to do some research for that. Uh, um, so there's, yeah, it just goes straight down at the minute. There's nothing there. There's no, you know, there is. Ooh, so that's the new globe thing there. Look at that. Thanks, Squid. So that's the new globe banner that they were talking about. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, um, interesting. Very interesting. Thanks for showing me that, Squid. Uh, uh, it's okay, I suppose. It looks pretty cool. We could use that in certain places, I guess. So, yeah, I um, over the weekend... Well, actually, when was it? It might have been Monday when I did this. Uh, um, I thought, let's have a little bit of pixel art so that people know... Where, you know, know where the mine is. Hello there, Grumpy Mom. Hello, Grumpy Mom. How's Grumpy Mom today? How are you doing? Great stream earlier there for uh, GP. She did a test stream earlier. Oh, the usual faces were there. Looking good. The new layout, I like it. Pretty cool. But hello there, Grumpy Mom. How's Grumpy Mom today? You doing good? Hashtag Cube Earth Society. Well, we're going to get some flat earthers or cube earthers. Cube earthers. Is that a thing? I have no idea. Uh, um, anyway, uh, um, shall I go into some ideas that I've had? Let me get rid of... Let's get rid of all my inventory a sec. Let me just grab uh, some red wool. I've had a bit of an idea. Do you know how we're going to be doing exploring? Uh, um, yeah, that'll do. We're going to be doing like some exploring. Um, probably next week, I think. We're going to have, like, a exploration guild and stuff like that. Uh, um, so I'm going to show you something in a sec. Uh, Grapenock says, I like to think that Minecraft Earth is also a block. It could be. We've never got to the edge, have we? Eh? You never know. Could be. Hello there, Ziffy Art. Hey, Tank. My four-year-old Maria says hi. Hello there, Ziffy. And hello to Maria. Who's four years old? Hey, I've got to throw Maria a biscuit, haven't I? Maria, hello there. Hello, I'm Tyke. Here's a biscuit for you. Are you ready? Ziffy, you might have to catch this for Maria, okay? Maria, this is yours. Are you ready? Catch this, ready? One, it's a biscuit. Two, get ready. Three, there you go. It's on its way. It's on its way right now. There you go. Hello to Maria. Hope you and your, uh, your, is it your dad there? Uh, hello there. Or, or your mum. Sorry, I can't tell. I uh, um, hope you and Maria are having a fantastic day. Anyway, hope you're having a good one. What a nice way to start the stream. Anyway, as I was saying, we're going to be doing some explore, exploring, you know, um, probably next week. Um, did you, did you like that? She caught it. Good catch, Maria. Good catch. Yay. Good catch. Nicely done. Right. Where is the, uh, I need an empty locator map. There we go. So hear me out on this. Right. I'm going to be building. Um, I don't know when I'm going to build it. I, um, it's another thing to do on my to-do list. Like, uh, uh, have I seen the Eastern mine? I have not. I'll have to have a look in a minute or two. Uh, um, so in time, I'm going to be building like a building. <laughs> we'll be building a building. I know that's revolutionary in Minecraft. That is the building type in Minecraft. No. 
in time going to build like a uh, like a big medieval building there and it's going to be like half of it will be the exploration guild and half will be i don't know something else i'm not quite sure what yet but what i'm thinking is because we don't really know what's out there do we so um what i'm thinking is say for instance i'm going out exploring let's pretend let's pretend that i've wandered out this way and i'm exploring i um Say, for instance, I've gone over here, like, ooh, you know, when I, I found something over here that's like, ooh, this is nice. Uh, um, what I'm thinking is, whoever is part of the exploration teams, right, we give them, uh, I think it's 13 red wool, and what the exploration teams will do is, they'll do this. See, if they find something nice, they go, they put a central one down, and then three either... You know, diagonally like this. One, two, three, like so. And then, oh, this might not, this might not work perfect because there's a tree in the way. And, um, but yeah, what I'm thinking is to help other people find it and show where it is. Obviously, the exploration team needs to take maps, right? Let's just get rid of this tree and I'll show you what I mean. It's a shame this tree was here because um, it's kind of ruined it a minute. There we go. Oh, get rid of that. Um, so say, for instance, I found something here. Like, ooh, this is cool. Uh, so you mark the spot with like a big red X, basically, like this. And then you kind of stand on the middle and then you use your map like that. Uh, um, and on the map, I don't know if you can see that, it puts like a big red X. Can you see that? So I'm thinking... For the people that go out exploring, that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be going out there, finding these beautiful places, uh, um, interesting places and everything. Uh, hello there, Jelly Fingers. How you doing, Jelly? Uh, uh, long time no see. It must have been at least 90 minutes since I saw you. I hope you're doing well today, Jelly Fingers. So, yeah, the, um, the explorers, the people who are going to be exploring, will, will arm them with maps and lo um, sorry, red wool as well. So they can put down red X's. And, you know, um, they obviously, they, they go off, they explore, and then they, they come back to town with their, like, you know, with their maps that they've, you know, made. Um, hello there, Headline Roblox. How's your day going today? How's you? How are you today? Uh, um, and say, for instance, right, okay, um, this isn't the actual Explorer's Guild, but um, say, for instance, I don't know, let's just get a, any old block here. Let's just have mossy cobblestone. Uh, um, hello there, typical Floyd. Uh, uh, just give me a minute. Uh, um, just give me a minute and I will address your question there. Uh, um, right, so I've been out. I've done my exploring. I've come back and... There we go. That's the map. I can put like a map on there. And as you can see, there's a red X. Um, so I think in the Explorers Guild, uh, we can have like a place to, for people who like exploring. They can make a map. Um, obviously, they've got to leave the red wool out there so we know where things are. And they can also put like a sign underneath it saying, I don't know, a, um, uh, you know, uh, skeleton spawner uh, and then put the coordinates where they found it and also on the map there's a little red x i thought that might be you know that might be a nice thing to do that for the you know for all those people that want to go out exploring um and it would give people like a you know a mission a, uh, yeah and it also makes a nice little map which you know x marks the spot you see that that red x there um, i can't really point to it it's like doing the weather, this. Uh, um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What do you think? Good idea? It'd be interesting. Um, so we'd end up with quite a few maps with red X's on. And, you know, uh, underneath it, say what it is with the coordinates as well. So, um, yeah, that's one of the ideas I had the other day. That would be, that'd be interesting, I think, for people to do that. Uh, um, yeah, well, I think that's a good idea. 
Anyway, Becky YT. Hello, Becky YT. How's your day going? Headline Roblox is having a good day there. Typical Floyd's asking, could I join? Did you discuss that I join? Um, hello there, Typical Floyd. Um, next Monday is when you're going to be able to join, okay? It's currently not open for new people, okay? Uh, um, so uh, it's currently not open for new folks. It's open for people who have played for a long time and Patreons, um, but it's not currently open for members of the public to join. Next Monday, which will be the 14th, I believe. Uh, yep. Uh, also, it's Valentine's Day uh, um, next Monday. And that's the day you're going to be able to uh, to join, okay? So next Monday is the date you need in your calendar, okay? Um, Xcal says, I did the achievement where you jump from build height to bedrock. It was pretty awesome. And you recorded it as well. Ooh. I need to... Uh, where is my achievements? Is it is it these things here? Is it them? Yeah, I... Do you know what? I've never... I've never looked at this. I've never looked at it. Um, when we make it a survival realm next Monday, I might be able to... I might be able to turn achievements on um, so that we can, you know, so that we can actually do achievements in the realm. However, when somebody cheats or does something they shouldn't, I'm going to have to, you know, go into creative, remove what they did. And it might, you know, it may or may not affect that. So um, I'll try and put achievements on like next week. Her, um, but, you know, who knows? Who knows? It's a work in progress. Hello there, Lee Chim. He's asking, how long did the drop take, x -Cal? I don't think at the minute achievements are on in this realm. Um, because, obviously, we're in creative. Like... <clears throat> So anyway, let's go have a look at the farms. Do you remember, was it not yesterday, the day before, I was making some farms. Uh, um, I made, we made the two, uh, um, in fact, let's make it daytime because I can't see a thing. Can't see a damn thing. There we go, that's better. <clears throat> two days ago, I was making these, if you remember, um, for the food, for people to join. Once they've joined, you know, they're going to need food. They're going to need to find wood and then stone and stuff. <clears throat> uh, um, so, yeah. Uh, and I need to plant I need to plant some more. So I might do that in a minute. Squid says, I don't think you can turn them on if cheats have been on in the world. There is a way of doing it. Um, there is a way. Um, I've, I did it in Pogtopia. Um, we started Pogtopia... Um, and I had, I think I had cheats on so I could edit the, you know, <clears throat> the game rules and things. And then I had to turn it off and restore achievements. Uh, um, so yeah, I think, I think it is possible. I think it is possible. Um, Xcal says in free fall, it was very fast. Made it through several one by one holes. Hey, uh, um, uh, Minecraft of the Dark says, yep, I do it every day. There we go. Lichin says, thought about putting a torch on each slab on the fields. I think we're going to go for the light block because people destroy, you know, people destroy torches. Um, so I think we might just go for a light block on each one. Um, I think, I don't know, too many torches. I, I don't know. I don't like the look of it when we get hundreds of torches, but we'll see. We'll see. It will need some lighting. Whisperfish. Hello, Whisperfish. How's Whisperfish doing today? Hope you're doing well, Whisperfish. Right, okay then. So, I'm going to decide what crop we're going to be planting here. Because we've got corn. Um, should we go for potato? Right, okay. Let's get some, let's get some crops here. So, pumpkin seeds. No, I don't think we're going to pumpkin or melon. Uh, there's beetroot seeds. We could do beetroot. Um, we could plant, could plant potatoes. Let's get all these in my inventory. Uh, carrots. Um, did I put, oh yeah, we've got beetroot seeds. So basically we've got three choices here. Our, um, it's going to be a um, beetroot. 
I like beetroot. Do you like beetroot? Potatoes or carrots? I don't know. Whisperfish has been at work all day. It's been dreadful. Oh no! I was uh, I was up at six o'clock this morning for uh, for work. So yeah, it's been a long day today. Been a long one. Uh, um, we're getting nearer the weekend though. Anyway, which uh, which Excal says taters. Taters. Should we go for should we go for potatoes? Should we do potatoes? Should we have a vote in chat? If you'd like me to plant beetroot, type beetroot. If you want me to plant potatoes, type potato. If you want me to plant carrots, guess what? Type carrots. And I'll let you lot decide. Come on, let's get some viewer interaction going here. You you guys can pick. Uh, um, anyone suggesting beets gets a time out there, says Excal. Uh, uh, it's trying to sway the vote. Leachum says taters. Squid says potato. Should we go? <clears throat> it's looking like potatoes. Should we go taters? Everybody likes potatoes, don't they? Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Her, um, pate, potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. I never really did master how to say that in the Irish accent. Oh, potatoes, potato, something like that. Potatoes. Right then, okay, you lot want potatoes, let's do this then. I think I should be able to just, yeah, spam them like this. Yeah, hey, there we go. Look at that, eh? I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just go round the edge. Potatoes, tatties, everybody wants tatties, look at that. Uh, Excal misses Paula, we all miss Paula. It's a slim chance, but if you're watching Paula, we miss you. Get well soon. Anyway, tatties, tatties, tatties. Potatoes. Melons, says Chiseled. I think we'll have a special patch for melons, because they grow, they, they like... They need like two squares, don't they? Um, so we might have, I don't know, a special patch for melons somewhere. Uh, um, don't worry though, we're going to be planting you know, one of everything. Um, so that everybody's covered. If somebody likes making, I don't know, is it beetroot soup? Beet soup? If someone likes making that, we'll, you know, we'll facilitate that need. We'll plant some beetroot, no problemo. Right, let's get these planted. Obviously, in creative, it's just, you know it's quite easy to to just fly around planting these. And, um, yeah, we don't even put seeds in; we put the potato in, so we have to sacrifice a potato over here for this. I can hear some planting going on behind me. Is that squid? There we go. Squid's planting too. It's planting day. It's like Stardew Valley, isn't it? You know, the first of the month or something. It's first of spring. Is potato a spring crop in Stardew? I have no idea. I have no idea. Anyway, thank you, Squid. I'll speed it up exponentially there. Look at that nice one. Potatoes. A full field of potatoes. Pota potatoes. Right, okay. Do you know what? We'll do the um we'll do the light blocks while I'm here. Let's get them done. Let's get all these done. Uh, um <clears throat> yeah, next Monday. I think what we'll do is uh, um if there's certain things that still need to be made, um I need to go and look at the Eastern Mine in a minute. Um there there will be there there will be things that uh that we're gonna have to put um out there. And uh, yeah, uh, what I might do is anything that's not built. Uh, um, mods, can you get rid of that person? Thank you very much there. Uh, um, anyway, uh, um, I think what we're going to do by next Monday, if everything's not ready, right, uh, uh, we'll just open it to the public anyway. OK, and um, we can always carry on building stuff in the background, you know. So I've come to realize it doesn't have to be, everything doesn't have to be ready for Monday. We can just open Monday. 
I'll try and get the wall finished. Obviously, that's my priority. Uh, um, squid got a potato from a zombie there. There you go. Whee! Um, yeah. So we're going to open next Monday. And, well, I, I suppose the priority is food. We've nearly got the food. The mine. I just need to finish the mine. And the wall. Oh, and trees. Trees as well. We need to put the trees down. So, uh, um, those are the things I need to focus on. Um, right, okay, enough talking. I need to get some light blocks. Um, Molly says, well, I'm going to have to play Cupid for my friend on Twitter. Oh, you don't know how to play Cupid? Oh, no. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, uh, right. So, I need to give at S uh, light block. Light block, 15, 15. Right, this is what we're doing. There are so many things we can continue to build in survival. That's right, we can. It doesn't have to all be done in uh, creative. It might be more fun doing it in, um, you know, doing it in survival. Hello there, Poop. How's your day, Poop? You having a good day? Oh, what a fantastic name you've got there. Uh, uh, how are you today, Poop? Interesting. Uh, um, we're just saying our names, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, why not? Tyke. Tyke. It's a bit like Pokemon. Uh, um, Pika. Pika. It must be a Pokemon. Is there a Pokemon called Poop? I have no idea. I don't think there is. If there is, what does Poop evolve into? Uh, uh, let's move on from that conversation. I don't think there is a Pokemon called Poop. Anyway, Alarmed. Hello, Alarmed. Hello, Tyke. How's your day? I can't believe my TV broke yesterday. Oh, no. Did your TV break? No, oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Did it... Have you got it fixed? Or... Oh, dear. Hope it wasn't an expensive TV. Mm. Uh, Tyke, I choose you. Hey, I'd be a good Pokemon. What would I evolve into, though? Uh, the Nerd. And then the pilot or something. Or Johnny Fortnite. I think Johnny Fortnite would be the third evolution. He'd be the top. Like, you know. Um, anyway, Xcal uses poop use splatter ability. Leave it. Yep. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Right, let's get these put down here. Uh, Hippo says the closest is Muck. It is a foul-smelling Pokemon. Close enough. Ah. So... There isn't a, there isn't a poop, but there is muck. Oh, look at that. Uh, hello there, D-Man. Hello, D-Man. How's D-Man doing today? Uh, Alarmed Conch says, uh, Bald Man would be third evolution. Uh, if I was a Pokemon and I evolved from, I could be the, like the bog standard Pokemon, then I'd evolve into, what, the nerd? Then I divert. Then I evolve into bald man. This bald man, the the one that you shall I try? Hold on, let's try. Um, where is he? Let's uh, get the bald one in. This what? guy. Oh, this one. Oh no! Is he the I'm, third I'm evolution? Bald. No, 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 no. I'm not bald. Okay, maybe, maybe just a little bit bald. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Would that be the pinnacle of evolution? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not a Pokemon, so, um, you know. Uh, Demon says, speaking of, anyone played the newest Pokemon game? I love it. I've not. They do, you know, they do look pretty cool, though. Mm, they do look pretty cool. Alarm says, yep, that's the third evolution there. They're pretty, I have to admit, they're pretty good, you know. They're um, Pokemon games. I do like them. They're, um... I think the first one I ever played was Pokemon Red or something on the Game Boy. Ooh, a few years back now, a few years back. Okay, so this is Squid's evolution. It goes from Squid to Squid himself to Kraken. I like that one. That's got a, a good, good sea, you know, sea animal uh, theme there. Uh, um, people can always evolve the wrong way, Tyke. Oh, I see, I see. So... It's not always... Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's what I meant to do. It's not always uh, 
positive evolution. Devolution, that's when they go backwards. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, um, D-Man says, yep, it's brilliant. Hope Hippo enjoys. Is it good? I, I, I think I've seen, like, uh, uh, clips of it. I've not exactly, um, you know, I've not, not been, I'm not an avid... Uh, um, what do you call it? Pokemon collector. I have got Pokemon Go on my phone, uh, um, but I've I've not like yeah I've not really stayed up to speed with it. Um, Whisperfish is asking, "What's the new Pokemon called?" Oh, I don't, I have no idea. Uh, Leechim's evolution is Lee, then Leech, then Leechim. Hey, there we go. That's Leechim's evolution. There, we're all being Pokemon today. One, two, three, four. Did I leave four gaps in between? One, two, three, four. Yep, I did. Let's go make another one. Oh, the newest one is called Pokemon Legends Ar Arceus. Ar Arceus? Arceus, I think. Arceus? Arceus? It's uh, Louis or Louis. I have no idea. One, two, three, four. And then boom. Right, okay. So one, two, three, four. For that one needs to be water. I choose you, water Pokemon. Uh, Alarm says, oh, about my TV, I'm not too worried. It's a couple of years old. You've had it, like, since 2017. Oh, that's not a bad TV, then, if it's lasted. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, um, anyway, oh, yeah. Um, Whisperfish got the pearl and diamond ones for the girls at Christmas, but not sure if they're the latest ones. They're decent games. I used to like them. I, um, the uh, the turn-based battles in the Pokemon games reminded me of... I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. I do like the Final Fantasy games. I grew up, you know, playing those on my PlayStation. I, um, so anything that's like turn-based adventure-wise, I, I do like. I do like. And... I don't think it's... Is it still turn-based, though, the new one? Is that... I have no idea how it works, whether it's, like, active battle or something, or... Is it still turn-based? I have no idea. Maybe I should do a Pokemon stream one day. I don't think I'll be able to catch them all in one day, put it that way. Anyway, let's get rid of this tree. That should naturally uh, disappear. Um, Molly says, I think mine would be a shark, then a flame shark, then shark ice. Ooh, that's a good evolution there. Uh, Alarm says, uh, lasted six hours a day since 2017. Uh, so yeah, very decent. That's a good TV, that. That's a good TV, that. They don't make them like that anymore. Um, Pearl and Diamond are the most recent remakes. Hippo loves those two. Lots of new endgame stuff. Ooh. Hey, Pokemon. Hello, Ren Smith and the Smith family. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day, you lot. Hmm? What's the weather like in South Africa today? Are you having a good day? Is it nice? I'd imagine it's cooling down a little bit because it's, what, evening time for you guys. Yeah, it's been, it's been a cold, blustery day in uh, merry old England. The sun has been out today. Uh, I've been indoors mostly, so I didn't really notice. Anyway. Um, it's possible type, but you've got to use backslash spawn. Oh, backslash spawn for... I can't even remember the question. I'm, my brain, I can't even remember. Uh, um, I, I was up early this morning, so you'll have to go easy on me today. Hello there, child crone. Hello, CC. How are you doing today, CC? Right, let's get rid of these. Let's get rid. So we're planting some more crops today. We're talking about Pokemon as well at the minute. Um, Molly stopped playing Pokemon Go. I had no Pokemon balls left and you had no coins. Oh, no. No. See where I live, I've got a... Uh, there's like a bit of a landmark outside my house. And every day I can... Yeah. Um, oh, catching them all. Oh, right, I see. So I can, we can cheat then. All right. 
on Pokemon Go, I've got a, uh, there's a bit of a landmark outside my house. Um, it's a post box. Um, and apparently it's a post box from the Victorian times. So every day, I, I mean, I don't play it every day. I'm not that, you know, not that addicted to Pokemon. But if I wanted to, every day I could pick a, uh, that up and get like Pokeballs, I think it's called. Do they call Pokeballs? Yeah, I think I can get some every day. Um, Aren says, very hot today. Had to dress up and worked in a room with no air conditioning. No. Oh, blinking out. That sounds like a nightmare. That does. Sounds like an absolute nightmare. Why is there's a definite shadow there? Have you seen that? I wonder if there's some kind of lava underneath this. Oh, it's disappeared now. Hmm. That was weird. I mean, put that back. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I'd like a, a bit of a shadow there. Anyway, Alarm's got a pokey stop by your house as well. See, some people are lucky like that and some people aren't. Uh, um, let me just make it daytime here. I can't see a damn thing. All these lights on. Yeah, I've got a, a pokey stop. Is that what they're called? A pokey stop? Uh, um, uh, um, outside my house. Pretty cool, actually. It's a Victorian post box. I didn't know it was from the Victorian times. Uh, um, yeah. Molly did catch a female Pikachu. She has a heart on top of her tail. Is that? Is there a female Pikachu? I never knew that. I never knew that. That's pretty cool. I never knew that. Um, anyway, so cool to imagine all those years of people posting there. Uh, um, it is. Uh, um, yeah, that's a long time. Victorian era is like. I, I when did Queen Victoria die? I have no idea. That's a good. Ooh, maybe a hundred and fifty years ago or something. Maybe. Um, yeah, about hundred and fifty years. It's a long time. They're still using it, so it's still good. They don't make them like that anymore. I tell you. Um, Chisel says, a long time ago I made my friend learn the whole Team Rocket motto. I can uh, I can appreciate that. I can remember you, when we had Team Flag. Remember Team Flag? When we had the red versus blue uh, um, competitions in the realm. Uh, there was a heavy influence of Team Rocket there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I could detect quite the... Uh, Quite the Team Rocket influence. Uh, um, how's my job going with helping them, folk? It's going well. It's going well. I can't. I don't. I'm not going to really be talking about it much off on stream because you know I have to be professional. But it's going very well. It's going very well. Uh, uh, yeah, I was up at six this morning. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, imagine moving house just for a Pokestop. Now that would be a very committed Pokemon player. I know people that have... Um, they've not moved house because of a slow internet connection. But I know people that... Um, their choice of a new house has been determined by their internet connection speed. I know folks that have chosen houses... Not purely just because of the internet speed, but, uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's been a heavy influence there. And believe me, back in my 4G days, I would, uh, I would have, I would have moved house like that to get a stable connection, but it turns out I didn't have to. So that's good. Anyway. Uh, Molly would show you, but, uh, but I can't think for Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, I see. No, no worries. Um, Alarm says, I think we need a Jesse and James Tyke variation. Are they the people on Team Rocket there? I have no idea. Is that Team Rocket, Jesse and James? I have no idea. Uh, um, hello there, GTA bro. Is that? Is that GTA that normally tunes in there? Is that you, GTA? Or is that a brand new person there? I can't tell. Hey, they've actually uh, announced that Rockstar are actually working on the next Grand Theft Auto game now. 
So that is confirmed. No details have been released yet, though. That's going to be good when that comes out. Ooh. The next gen of uh, Grand Theft Auto. Ooh. Hello there, Blaster Knight. Blaster's here. You've been playing the new Pokemon game. Uh, and I've been going out of my way to return people's backpacks that you've whited out. Ooh, I see. Ooh. GTA Broski, uh, hello there. Uh, let me throw you a biscuit, GTA bro. Are you ready? We do have another person that shows up with the GTA in their name. I, I got confused there. Hey, GTA bros, uh, broskies. Hello there and welcome. Welcome to the stream. Here's a biscuit for you. This is how I welcome people to the stream. Are you ready? Catch this. You ready? One, two, eat. It's on its way right now. Look at that one fly. Woo, that's on its way to you, GTA. Hope you're having a wonderful day there. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the follow on Twitch as well there. Thank you for that. Anyway, it does help. Thank you, GTA. Hello, Blaster. Blaster, how are you finding the new game? Is it good? Is it pretty cool? A um, waste of biscuits. It's not. It's not, my friend. That's on its way to your house right now. Her, um, anyway, Alarm says, got anything planned for Valentine's? Like, not on stream, just IRL? Not really, no. Her, um, no. Mm, I'm I'm single as a Pringle. Um, so nothing, no, nothing planned. How about you guys? You got anything planned? Uh, Arian, hello there, Arian Gaming. How are you doing today? Today's question. Um, ooh, I have put a poll up in uh, YouTube, which is, are you following, are you watching the Winter Olympics at the moment? Uh, um, that's that's probably today's question, I think. I've not really had time to think of one. I've uh, um, been quite busy today. Uh, um, but hello, Aryan Gaming. How are you today? Uh, Aren says, when I was 15, I dyed my hair black like ash and had to shave my head. Because it was against school rules to dye my hair. Looking back, those teachers were not cool. Ooh, teachers. Ooh, boring teachers. Ooh, they're so boring with their rules and stuff. I don't know. Uh, Blaster Knight likes it a lot. You're doing great. How are you, Ty? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Planting crops in the realm. Uh, let's get a bucket of water here. We're going to need that. Ooh, we're going to need a... Um, if this works, there we go. Yay! We've got a slab as well. So, uh, so yeah, let's get this. Let's get these buckets of water sorted. Um, I need to figure out. So one, two, three, four. That's the corner of the field. That's where we're going there. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Molly says it's time to do 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 do. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, wrong theme tune there, Molly. Oh no, Squid caught COVID, so you can't go anywhere for Valentine's Day. Oh no. Oh dear, hope you get better soon, Squid. Hope it's not too bad for you. Ooh. I didn't think I meant to do that there. I think I can get away with it. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Is that right? Yep, I think that's right. That one needs to be a um, water block. Yeah, I'm figuring it out. We're uh, planting crops again today. Planting crops. Crops? Crops even. People need food. One thing I've realised is, yeah, crops are affected by the draw distance. Watch this. As I as I go backwards, you see that the crops disappear. Um, because that's because of the draw distance. Mm. I am so glad that I built the, um, the wall not using any kind of material that disappears with draw distance. I, I'm really proud of that fact, actually, because I wanted people to be able to... I turned the clouds back on as well, if you... I don't know if you noticed, I turned them on. It looks a bit nicer, you know, a little bit more going on up there. Yeah, I didn't want... I didn't want things on the wall disappearing and reappearing. Or, um, like these crops will. Watch this. As I go backwards, they're going to disappear. And that sometimes, I think... Do you know what? I'm... It's one of the things I would have expected the next gen of consoles to, to do a little bit better, you know. Uh, um, anyway, 
Hello there, Frappy. Hello, how's your day going, Frappy? How are you today? You having a good day there? Our, um, this is a brand new realm that we're building. We're opening it next Monday to the public. So uh, next Monday, you'll be able to join this. Anyway, our, um, Frappy, Frappy, here's a biscuit for you, my friend. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? You doing all right? Frappy, catch this. Are you ready? Uh, this is me cookie mine cart, you know. Um, I don't exactly know where we're going with this. Um, uh, you know, I can see right down the track here, but I'm supposed to be going to a village to give uh, to give these villagers some biscuits, but I've never actually got there once yet. Anyway, Frappy, here we go. Are you ready? Catch this, my friend. You ready? One, two, eat. Huh. There we go. It's on its way to your house right now. You are welcome. Anyway, uh, let's get back to these crops here. We need to do these crops. Um, yep, get better soon there, squid. Get better soon. Uh, Alarm says, wait, Tyke, are you able to plant wheat on your plot with the barriers on them? Um, wheat with the plot with the barriers on them? Um, the, there's no barriers on the plot, um, if that's what you mean. The, only when you're finished. Do I put uh, deny blocks underneath your plot, if that's your question? Um, yeah, you should be able to plant wheat on your uh, on your particular little uh, plot of land. Anyway, Frappy says, mm, that tasted amazing, thank you. You are welcome. That was a custard cream biscuit there. Mmm, custard cream. Goes nice with a cup of tea, that does. Anyway, right, let's get this figured out then. So, um... If I go one, two, three, four, yep, and then one, two, three, four, boom, that should be a, that should be water, because um, crops have got to go, is it, it's five, they've got to be f within five spaces of a water source, so that's what we're doing here, if you're wondering. Alarm says, yep, but will I be able to harvest and plant even when the barriers are down? Um, barriers are down. There's no. Oh, you mean the deny blocks? These things. When we put these underneath. Well, should we do a? Should we do a little test? Well, let's do a little test. Right, let's do a little testing. Alarmed conch is worried that they're not going to be able to uh, plant stuff. You know, underneath their. Uh... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Underneath their plot, while these are down. Let's do a little test. Let's, let's find out. I like doing tests. So pretend this is your plot. Du, du, du. I'm in creative right now, so I'm going to have to switch to uh, survival in a minute. Um, so, right, okay. So let me jump on here then. Let me just very quickly set time to noon and then change it to survival. Right, okay. So game mode S. <clears throat> let's find out. I have no idea. Right, okay, so I can, you can still till the land. So that's doable. But you can't, you can't plant things. So, uh, so maybe we're going to have to say to people, uh, um, you know, if you want food, it's out there. You know, there should be no need to build a, um, you know, uh, a farm on your plot, but you know, I don't know. Anyway, no, um, you can't, you, you can till the land, but you can't plant crops above a deny block. So we've learned that today. There you go. Steve. Hello there, Steve, the gentleman. How are you doing today? How's your day going? You having a good day there, Steve? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Oops. Sorry, Doug. You got in the way there. Collateral damage. Colla oh, oh, bloody hellfire. I'm losing it here. Um, it's because it's going to be looted straight away. What's going to be looted straight away, Alarmed? Don't worry too much about people looting stuff. Um, if you're worried about losing your belongings, I have put ender chests in every... Oh, look at that. Let's take that. Oh, wait a minute. That's, that's mine, isn't it? What am I doing? I'm thinking... Someone's someone's left that in there. That's a bit reckless, isn't it? Oh, look, there's one in there as well. 
Right, okay, let's take it out of there. Let's take that out of there. Look, that's empty now. Let's put it in this one. I'll do a magic trick. Watch this. I'll put it in there. And then we go back to this one. Oh. Ta-da! <clears throat> magic trick. There's a magic trick. Hello there, cowboy! Cowboy, how are you doing today, cowboy? How's cowboy doing? You having a good one? Uh, um, he also has a purple shulker. I forgot that I put that in there. Um, yeah, I forgot that. Anyway, anyway, moving on. Uh, um, so, uh, the fields will loot... The fields will loot the farm. That's what I was talking about. The, the fields will loot the farm. You mean people that join will loot the farm. Uh, then we'll replant the stuff. Don't worry about it. Steve says, I was wondering if I could build the Colossal Titan uh, from Attack the Titan outside the walls. A fun reference to it. Peeking over the wall. Is that okay? No, no, no. <clears throat> um, no, not just yet. Um, I did think about stuff like that, but not perhaps not just yet um i did think of building do you know the creeper statue i did think about building that over there but i mean i don't personally i've never seen colossal titan i've never seen that and this wall wasn't built because of that um so maybe not maybe not I, um, by all means you can build another wall out there you know, uh, uh, as soon as it opens Monday, the guys that have already built a house, you know, in town, you guys can go out there and build whatever you like. The new people will be, you know, starting from scratch in the town. So, not, no, not in this town, Steve. Maybe you could go out there and build something else, you know, another wall. Uh, anyway, um, I had to get rid of, um, yes, I had to get rid of some pixel art that someone made the other day and uh yes they're no longer around now so um don't forget this is going to be for the next two years uh and i don't want people showing up say oh is that the titan from colossal titan or whatever it's called from attack on titan and i'll go i don't know because i've never seen it so this town will be just a basic town if you want to build all those things, you know, out there somewhere, go for it. Um, a lot of these, are, um, a lot of these ideas seem like single-player world things, not typed realm ideas. Yeah, I mean, there's always Pogtopia. If you want to build it in Pogtopia, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then boom. Let's just get that filled with water so these don't disappear. Look at that; it's already already started. Uh, um, Excal, yeah. Uh, Steve's gonna DM me a picture of it just so you know what it looks like. Okay. Uh, um, maybe when you go out there and build, if you build, you know, you could build your own wall out there and build that somewhere. There's nothing against that. I think for the for the main wall though, it's just gonna remain as it is. You know. Um, oh, I don't know. Not a sterile environment. Um, uh, a normal looking environment uh, um, for now we'll see maybe in future we could put a, a creeper statue outside or something i don't know anyway hello there weirdo how are you doing weirdo awkward hugs hey. and how is imperial death trooper hello imperial death trooper how are you today hope you're having a fantastic day one two three four one two three four that one needs to be water. Do you know what? If I put these like together, this might that might speed things up a little bit. Then I won't have to go as far. Molly's gonna play Minecraft Java Edition, feeling creative now. There you go, Molly. Get those creative ideas flowing. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That one. There we go. Right, okay, if you're wondering what's going on, it looks a bit weird at the minute. It looks like some kind of, I don't know, space invaders have, um, yeah, little ship thing. I don't, space invader ship, I suppose, yeah. Our, um, anyway, our, um, Pure Death Troopers doing great. However, I slipped in the shower and dinged my head on the wall. Oh, ooh, 
Oof. 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 Nasty. Hope you hope you didn't hurt yourself too much there. That's how Dr. Emmett Brown came up with the flux capacitor. Except he was hanging something, stood on his toilet and slipped and banged his head on the sink. And then when he came to, he, he came up with time travel. Just, just saying there. It might not have happened for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom. I'm not counting to eight. I know I can see that. Why don't you just count to eight? No. Nope. We're doing it my way. The hard way. Yeah. It's good to learn how to count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Look at that. Weird looking thing. Weird looking thing. There's a method to the madness. Don't worry. We're, uh, we're not quite there with it yet. We need to do one more. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, for all those people that want me to count to eight. Are you not entertained? And then for all those people that like me counting to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. There you go. Right, okay. So, uh, I just need to find the the edge of the thing so that's one two three four so that is the very edge of the field and this one over here one two three four is that one so now all i'm gonna do is just ah let's get tilling the land here Ooh, i'm a farmer hello there farmer tyke nice to meet you how did that song go uh, well, hello there. I'm Farmer Tyke. I plant what I like. Welcome to my farm. You can stay the night. You can grow some crops. Or meet my wife. Just wipe your feet and we'll be all right. You can watch TV. Or ride me horse. Maybe stick around for the king of sauce. You'll be feeling fine when it's biscuit time. Just keep Pam away from my star fruit wine. Feed the cows. Tend the herd. Or maybe go fishing if you preferred. We could buy some seeds. I say patear. Maybe take a trip down the mines later. Lay some paths, build some walls. Maybe even shop at the festival stalls. In Stardew Valley, there's so much to do. Just please make sure you're in bed by two. Na 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 Because I'm Farmer Tyke. Do you remember that one? That was the a cappella version there. If you wonder. Yeah, you know, you like that. I'll turn that into a guitar and drum song. Future number one viral hit there. Um, Molly just clicked on quit by mistake. Oh dear. Uh, CC says, hopefully it's jogged something into place rather than jogged something loose. Yeah, hopefully. You know what it's like. You get older and uh, you can't remember. You can't remember what I had for breakfast. I, I can though. I had three slices of toast this morning. Anyway, let me catch up with chat. Um, Imperial Death Trooper says, My vision was blurry for a while, so I thought I was really screwed until I found my contacts on the floor. There you go. Aren says, When I slap bass, uh, my, oh, my always count is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Maybe that's why I did that, because I I have not played bass in a while, but I used to play bass. So, yeah, that probably explains things. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's very musical. Very musical. Molly says, what if I'm not in bed by two? Oh, you pass out. That's the thing. Depends where you are, I suppose. You might lose money and items. Or, uh, yeah, it's a funny old thing. That's what I never liked about Stardew. The fact... That, uh, you know, Concerned Ape, he dictated the time I went to bed. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I mean, it's a great game. But I felt it was... I don't know. I didn't feel as free going to bed every every night by two o'clock. It's not real. I mean, I, I, I used to stay up till... Stupid o'clock in the morning playing Fortnite, didn't I? Five o'clock in the morning playing Fortnite. I haven't done that for a long time. 
And it probably won't be doing that for a long time ever again. Um, what, we've, what we're working now. I don't think I'll get away with doing that these days. Uh, Chisel says, uh, speaking of hitting heads, there was an ac incident or an accident with a motorbike hitting a year seven. He flew, uh, he flew and uh, fell head first. It was right outside school too. Poor kid. Oof. Oh dear. Hope he's okay. I hope they're okay, should I say. What the hell? I once fell off the back of a motorbike when I was younger. Yeah, interesting story that. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'll tell it another time. Not today though. Let me get some light on this. I can't see what I'm doing here. Uh, Imperial Death Troop says, Ah, Molly, I was playing solo Bedwars. I was a 1v1 with the final player. Got him down to like 2 HP. And I clicked quit whilst trying to hit him. Not my proudest moment there. We've all done that. I've done that. Not on Bedwars. But, you know, clicked the wrong button. And, you know, exited the game. I've done that. It's a bit harder to do it on Xbox because, you know, all you have to, you know, the little red X on the top of a window in uh, on a PC. It's a lot easier to just misclick something like that. Uh, I have, like, accidentally clicked on, you know, uh, something and stopped the stream before, if that counts. I think it does. Let me just get rid of that keyboard a sec. Much more comfortable sat without that. Oh, it's hard work. It's farming. Oh, bloody farming. This farm must be hard work running a real farm. Yeah, all that work. All them, all them animals to look after. Getting up early and stuff. Oh, I, um, Ooh, Imperial De uh, sorry you clicked on a stampy notification. Got to renew my childhood. I'm back. There we go. Aren says, Dre reached level 100 in Fortnite. Whatever that means. Let's have a victory royale in order to celebrate that. If I can, if I can find it. Here we go. Hey, a very tiny victory royale there. Well done to Dre. Dre, well done there. Level 100. I'm still not level 100 i don't even know what level i'm at in fortnite i've not been on it for a while actually i think i've got until march to reach level 100 so plenty of time yeah plenty of time well played though dre ggs indeed d-man ggs well played dre well played yeah it's because he's been playing with all them french kids the other day there you go you see there we go. Race to 100. Dre's beat me there. Everybody's basically beat me to uh, 100 there. What level's Grumpy Mom on these days? That's what I want to know. I bet she's like, what, 200 and something yet, Grumpy Mom? Have you, have you passed the 200 mark? I bet she's not far off. Mm, absolute legend on Fortnite, Grumpy Mom is. I've never felt as safe on Fortnite when Grumpy Mum's watching over me when I'm healing. Oh, yeah. I feel insecure hands, you know. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, uh, right, okay. So we got taters. We got taters. What should this one be? Carrots or beetroot? It's going to have to be one or the other. D-Man's level 50 there. Uh, Grumpy Mom's 151 and not getting any and not getting any better. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that. Uh, um, I think you're probably way better than I am. If I jumped on right now, I'd probably be a bit rusty there. So um I don't believe I don't believe anything like that. She's she's a legend in her own I don't know. Her, um lunchtime, we'll say. <laughs> Cowboy says, last I saw, Grumpy Mom was 142 plus. Bloody hell. Imperial Death Trooper says, carrots, carrots. The people want carrots. Should we, should we put carrots? Should we go for carrots? Hmm? Uh, Imperial Death Trooper beat me by a long shot. You got 232. Bloody hell, fire. Yeah, I've hardly played it. Yeah, I've hardly, I've hardly played it, to be honest. Should we go for carrots, the second one? Do you know what I need to do first? Let's, um... Let me sort this out first. Let's sort this out. 
and then um, yeah let's sort this out then I can put some light on these or, uh, and then we can yeah then we can kind of yeah just start planting carrots I suppose right let's get some light on these and then we'll go around spamming the carrots the carrot orange I like carrots I prefer them raw to cooked. I'm not a fan of cooked carrots. I like them raw. Yeah, I like raw carrots. Much nicer. Probably still contain all the nutrients and minerals as well. Anyway, carrots it is. Mm. Uh, um, I think I should have myself dinner. Farewell for now. Okay, Imperial Death Trooper, have a lovely day. Have a lovely dinner, especially if you're having carrots. Right, carrots it is. Let's get these put in. Let's get them put in like so. The carrot. Yeah, I do like carrots. A um, grated carrot or shredded carrot, if that's what you guys call it. I love that with salad. Mm. A um, Cowboy, have a lovely day, cowboy. Later, partner. Uh, mosey on back to work or whatever. Uh, have a lovely day there, cowboy. Have a good one. All right, okay. Let's get put in some of these down. So when people join next Monday, they've got no, you know, there's no excuse. They will be able to. They will be able to jump in here and get some food easily, easily. Um, the only I don't I don't think I'm going to put deny blocks underneath these. I don't think there's any point really. Um, Chisel says carrot fact. British right. Hold on. Let's read this. I need to eat something. All this talk of food. I'm, st I'm starving. I'm Hank Marvin. British soldiers spread the lie that carrots help you see in the dark to mask the fact that they have a radar to see enemy planes. I like that fact. That's a cool one, that. Do you think the Germans fell for it? Why are these British able to see us in the dark? Oh, it's because they eat carrots. Oh, yeah. I have heard the rumours. They, they make you see in the dark. When really we were using radar. I love anything about World War II. I've been watching a heck of a lot of stuff about it lately. I'm um, interested in Discord as well. You guys are putting some amazing recommendations for films and food. I'm, um, I, I'll have to carry on doing that. I'm enjoying that. Hello there, Vic Ash. Hello there. How's your day going, Vic Ash? I'm, um, I'm, I'm currently working on this. Um, I don't know if you've seen it before. We've got the realm. I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm very good, Vic. How's your day going? Are you having a good one too? Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Wednesday, so it's like the middle of the week. Hump day. Because it's like all uphill to Wednesday and then it's downhill to Friday. That's what we say in England. Unless you work the weekend as well, I suppose. In which case, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, World War II stuff. I absolutely love it. Uh, I've been I, any documentary, any film about World War Two. Oh, awesome! I love it. I'm pretty sure the whole world fell for it. I, I did. I thought carrots do help you see in the dark. Anyway, GP, hello there, grumpy puppy. Hello there. Awesome stream earlier. Looking good with the new layout and everything. Love it. Works perfect. Um. D-Man says, anyone else prefer raw carrots overcooked? D-Man, me, I, I I, love them to bits, raw carrots. Cooked, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of cooked carrot. But raw carrot, I would eat a raw carrot any day. Carrot sticks, you know, like McDonald's, they, they sometimes give you carrot sticks, don't they, instead of fries. You know what, I'd rather have fries in that situation. But I could eat carrot sticks, no problemo. Yeah, I like fries. 
It's a good job Cowboy's not here. We'd, uh, we'd be talking about burgers for the next, you know, for the next three hours. Not that that's a bad thing. I've, um, insert name here. Hello there. How's your day going? Insert name here. Hello and welcome. Uh, alternate universe. Tyke is on PS4 or PC. Uh, I do. Do you know what? I was playing. Um, I do have Minecraft on my PS4. And I have done a stream in VR. Um, I need to figure out how to invite myself. Because on... Right, so people who've got a PlayStation, who've joined this realm, how... What do I need to do? Do I need to create... Do I need to link my PSN gamertag thing to um, a Microsoft one? I need to do that. That's what I need to do. Because one day I want to walk through this realm in VR. And, uh, you know, instead of flying around it in like, uh, it's in in the standard way of playing, you know, with a controller and a, yeah, you know, like a, a screen. I want to be able to walk through it and look around uh, in VR. Anyway, insert name here. Hello and how are you today? I do actually own it on PlayStation 4 and PC. So, um, you know, I could I could do that one day. I could do that. Um, Chisel Pizza loves learning about World War II. I do too. I absolutely love it. Don't you think that World War II inspired, um, like, the Imperial, you know, uh, side of things in Star Wars? The uniforms. I always thought that was the... It's basically World War Two in space, isn't it? The original three Star Wars. Um, especially the uniforms. Yeah, very, like, German. Yeah. Anyway. Um, let's catch back up. Uh, Aren says, My cat hates carrots, and she has got some proper night vision. There you go, then. We confirmed it here. We confirmed it. D-Man says, I think if you'll join or if you log into your Microsoft on your PS4, it will be the exact same as your Xbox account. Right, okay, I could do that. And insert name here says log into your Xbox account to PS4. Yeah, I will try that then. So I should be able to have access to uh to the realm and um, you know. Fingers crossed. I could be able to walk around in VR. I, I would love that. I would absolutely love that. One of the things I'd have to do is, though, I wouldn't be able to read chat. So what I'd have to do is, I'd have to have uh, Microsoft David in my ear. So I knew that you, so I know what you guys are talking about. I wouldn't be able to tell who said it, but I could be able to respond to, you know. So might have to have uh, text to speech on that day when I do that. I do want to do that, though. That would be an interesting stream, that. Because you, you really get a sense of scale when you play VR. I, I really do like VR stuff. Some games you can't play for long, though, because it makes you feel a bit queasy. Um, but yeah, look at that. That looks a bit awesome, that does. Let's um, let's hold something that doesn't... Yeah, there we go. That doesn't impede the view. Look at that. Ooh. So we've got, above me, we've got uh, carrots there. We've got a lovely... A huge tract of land with carrots there. Then we got um, corn. Got a nice bit of corn. And some more corn or wheat. And on the far end, we got potatoes. Got some nice potatoes in there. Um, World War Three in space. It, yeah, that's Star Wars. World War Three in space. Excal says, Germans were not as bad of a shot as the stormtroopers, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, they weren't. They weren't. Yeah. They were damn good shots. Very efficient. Uh, Pizzle, uh, cheats, uh, chiseled. What, what am I saying here? Chiseled Pizza says, uh, um, imagine the Imperials in German, lol. Commander Klaus, your lack of faith is nine wunderbar. <sighs> Lord wunderbar. Release him, Lord wunderbar. Doing the build height to bedrock jump in VR would be insane. 
I mean, we, I suppose we could do that, you know. We could have a bloody hellfire. My stomach would uh, it'd be seriously turning for that, though. That would be an interesting stream, trying to, trying to do the achievements in VR. That would be interesting. Let's have a little fly around. Let's take a break from that a minute. Right, what do I need to do? I need to get rid of that great big red uh, XP farm that I made. Not the best thing I've ever made. Xcal did make one that works a bit better, so we might we might keep that for now and eventually, I don't know, adapt it, make one fit better. I don't know. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, let's go check out the Eastern Mine. Okay. Let me... Oh, no, that's West. Don't want to go that way. This way. Let's go check the eastern mine. Or, um, I I don't know. Don't know if there is one or. I um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's not bad. I like that. Straight outside the wall. Perfect. So pretend I am. I'm a noob. <laughs> it's not. It's not hard to pretend, is it? That really. So leaving the eastern gate. On my right hand side is a mine. Awesome sauce. Or, um, hello there, Blue Spikes. Hello, Blue Spikes. How's your day going? You having a good day there? Hope you're having a good one. It's Wednesday. It's normally a boring day, Wednesday, isn't it? But hope you're having a good one. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. As, um, yeah. As Free Guy says. So Xcal has done, it has the elevator installed, at least the first level. Is this one that goes down? Ah, uh, I want, um, yeah, the one on the left was going to be the down in the other one. Um, we might have to change those round. I was going to have it on the left, it goes down and right for up. I've, um, that's probably due to, um... You know, me being European, we drive on the left-hand side. I've, uh, so, yeah, might just have to swap those around uh, to keep it the same. But, yeah, yeah, I like that. Left is always up, Brits. So, yeah, I think we're going to have down as the left one. Uh, that way, when someone walks in, they're like, you know, that'll say, well, um, that'll be up. And this other one will be down. So, yeah, we'll have to swap those round. I um, can't be confusing these, you know, the new people that are going to join. Let me go back and have a look at the uh, the pixel art that I did then. I, I did some pixel art for the mine. So you can kind of tell, look at that. That's, instead of having a tiny little sign, um, I thought if we have... We did have some pixel art in the old realm. Do you remember when, which newcomers was it? Before the last newcomers was, you know, had the wall around it, we had people just basically live anywhere. And above the mine, we had a pickaxe. And um, it seemed to work quite well. And I liked that idea. So I I built this, um, which we'll have to put above all the other mines. Uh, <clears throat> um, so, yeah. It's not bad. I think people, you know, people will associate that with mining. It's going to be easier for me to, you know, uh, to tell people where the mine is. Oh, just leave town and look for the huge, you know, pickaxe, pixel art. Um, so we go down like, I mean, it's not finished. I need to, I need to finish it. Like... Uh, um, Chiseled says, fun fact, the World War II Germans actually made a Titanic movie about the British being greedy. They even eliminated uh, the first director, but the movie hugely backfired. Oh, dear. The Germans built a Titanic film. Hmm. Draw me, it would have been, draw me, Jack, as like one of your German girls. Oh. <clears throat> there would have been slight changes, probably. Don't let, don't let go, Klaus. <clears throat> don't let go, Heinrich. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Interesting fact, though, that chiseled. Like it, like it. 
What I do like is watching the sun go down over this pixel art, though. I do like that. <clears throat> I don't know. There's something quite relaxing about that. Ah, yeah. A German Titanic film. That's interesting. I am eating prawn cocktail flavoured crisps. If you're wondering. Prawn cocktail. I love that flavour. Absolutely love it. Mm. Anyway. I'm starving. Okay. <clears throat> right, so I need to do them plots. Um, I need to finish the wall. Let's go back to the farm that we made. Don't let go, Johan. <laughs> yeah, I feel not. I feel not let go. Her, um, Chiseled says, it's on YouTube. I can post it in the Discord. Yes, go on then. Uh, please, Chiseled. I watched... Um, I watched a World War II film. I've watched two of them on YouTube. It's amazing what full films you can get on YouTube, actually. It's really interesting. For free. I watched... Um, have you ever seen that film, Downfall, with Bruno Ganz? It's like when Hitler's in the bunker. You know, it's the last days of the, the German Reich. And, um, you know, the Russians are coming in and he's under the... The, the Reichstag, uh, German chancellery building in the bunker. Uh, there was a modern one called Downfall, which is really good. But in the 1980s, do you mind? Uh, um, there was a, a film made, basically the same film, but Anthony Hopkins played Hitler. Uh, and it's a strange thing seeing a film, you know, about Hitler... Uh, and Hitler having a Welsh accent. Uh, it's a strange thing, that. <clears throat> kind of breaks that whole realism for me. But it was good. I watched it. And it was very good. I love anything like that. Uh, um, Blue Spike says, sus. Uh, incredibly sus. Incredibly sus. Okay, how can I make this look a bit nicer? Hmm. Um, Grumpy Mom says, my dad was a turret gunner in World War II. Look at that, eh? Was it on, um, was it in one of those, what are they called, uh, B-17? Was it a B-17? Flying Fortress, like the turret gunner? <laughs> Bloody Germans. Was it a B-17, Grumpy Mom? Uh, um, I suppose it might not have been an aeroplane. Or, uh, could have been like a vehicle. That is a very awesome fact, though. I like it. Uh, Chisels posted it, but it's in German, but subtitles are on. Okay. Yeah, I love all that. I watched... Um, what else did I watch? There was another German film. Um, it wasn't German, actually. It was a World War II film. I can't remember that other one. No, I can't remember the other one. The Anthony Hopkins one just blew me away, though. Hitler with a Welsh accent. Well, I never. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, I believe so. He was in the turret under the belly. Wow. He, wow, that's even more impressive. Um, it was the ball turret gunner. Wow. Hey, that's, um, that's a fantastic... Uh, something to be proud of there, Grumpy Mom. Wow. Do you know what? They were so brave, them guys. So brave that you think about like today's world, you know, and what they what they had to do in World War Two compared to what we have to put up with today. We've got it so easy, you know, we've got it so easy. They were tougher. Bloody hellfire, they were tougher back in them days. Tiny, tiny space he had to squeeze in. It sounds like an absolute legend, grumpy mom. Oh, grumpy puppy. Uh, sorry. Tiny. Oh, yeah. So it'd be Grumpy Mom's dad. And it'd be Grumpy Puppy's granddad. Uh, granddad. Yeah. 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 I got that right, didn't I? Yeah. I think I got that right. Your grandpa. There you go. My brain is working. Honest. <clears throat> Lights are on, but nobody's, nobody's home. Still giving me goosebumps. And he unfortunately would never talk about it. They do say that a lot of, uh, you know, 
a lot of the service men and women uh, that came back, they, I don't know, it was, I suppose when you've seen stuff, um, I don't know, you, you can't relate to it. Us as civilians, you know, we've never done that. I've never done anything like that. I won't be able to, won't be able to relate to that. Excalibur's granddad was a, a B-24 pilot in the Pacific. Wow. This is pre this is awesome, this. I never... Wow, I never knew we had such heroic family members involved in this little community here. This is awesome. I think one of my... Not my granddad, my great-granddad. <clears throat> he was... Um, there was... What was it now? Scapa Flow. Um, very top of Scotland... I, um, I think he was, um, he survived it. It was on a ship that got torpedoed and uh, he survived it. I um, had to tread water for like three hours or something in the freezing cold Baltic, uh, is it Baltic Sea or something like that? I don't know. Up at Scapa Flow. Yeah, them bloody Germans. So yeah, everyone's family's kind of, you know, touched by war, I suppose. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I got disorientated then for a minute. I don't blame GM's dad. Must have been very traumatic, I know. It's... We live in a different world now, don't we, eh? We, com we live in a completely different world. Back in them days, rationing, things like that. The threat of, you know, someone flying over your house and dropping a bomb on you. You can't begin to... Uh, comprehend it these days that we are so lucky you know we are lucky we are anyway thank our lucky stars we were born when we were yeah anything like that fascinates me though uh world war ii love it love it to bits i've been meaning to watch um memphis bell i love that film memphis bell yeah, going to have to watch that again soon. That was one of my favourite films growing up as a kid, that. Right, let's go back to these farms. <clears throat> Do I need to put some kind of um, fencing around it? How can I make these look a bit nicer? Uh, um, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it, said Chisel. I'll try not to. I'll try not to. How can I make... How can I make... How can I make these fields look nicer? Hmm. How can I do that, eh? I, I have no idea. Ooh, Jellyfinger says, My father was in the Seaforth Highlanders and he was shot by a German sniper who was hiding up a tree. Fortunately, he survived the wound. <clears throat> yeah, in your face, German sniper. Uh, um, then uh, Jellyfinger says, My father-in-law was a photographer, and he flew in Lancaster bombers, taking photographs of the damage inflicted by the bombs. <sighs> wow. Do you know what? Wow. <clears throat> we live in a totally different time, don't we? we... It's fascinating, though. Fascinating. So, uh, so Jelly's dad was in the Seaforth Highlanders, uh, who, oh, that must have been, it's, I'm glad he made it back home though, you know, cause many, I suppose many didn't. Um, Jelly said, also says, a father-in-law was a photographer. So yeah, those were the ones, Lancaster bombers. Yeah. They're pretty epic, uh, pretty legendary bombers. Not as big as the B-17 ones. So that's interesting. Um, so Jellyfinger's father-in-law flew in um, Lancaster's and Grumpy Mom's dad flew in the B-17s. And x -Cal's, what was it? Your granddad was a pilot in the Pacific here. So, uh, you know, I feel I need to put the pilot on here. We've got... Yeah, he wasn't Hello, in the ladies war. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We are yeah. currently experiencing a little bit of turbulence uh, due to 
a random biscuit being lodged in engine number three. But uh, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we shall be touching down in Clarksville in approximately 10 minutes. Thank you for flying Phantom Airways. Captain out. There we go. There, uh, <laughs> it's a different world where you live in. Uh, yeah, maybe a fence or scarecrows. We could we could look at doing that in a minute. Um, Ace Carl says, my grandkids talking about me. My, my granddad once built a 400 item auto sorter. Yeah, I saw it on that old thing called YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the same, is it? It's not the same. Okay, right. Um, maybe spruce these up a bit. So let's get rid of all this crap I'm carrying. Um, Scarecrow, did I see a Scarecrow? That's not a bad idea. I like that idea. Definitely maybe a fence around it or something. Give it a little bit of, I don't know, something, something. Uh, spruce fence around the outside, perhaps. We have to give it a little bit of space, though. Um, let me just, let me figure something out here. I don't want to, um, I don't want to, like, cram people in because when I start putting fences up, people, um, you know, they start knocking them down. Maybe a Russell Crow. Um, right, let me get rid of these. So, on the fourth one, which is this one, let's go for something like that. Um, maybe we go something like, I don't know. One, two, three, four. We go four in like this. All right, hold on. One, two, three, four. Maybe I just put like a little bit of, little bit of fencing around the corners, perhaps. Let me set time to noon because I can't see a damn thing. Uh, Chisel says, unfortunately, I never met my granddad on my mother's side. No clue which side he fought on, though. He does look very cool. I only have one picture of him, unfortunately. Oh, at least you've got a picture of him. Hey, that's something. I rem so he could have he could have fought on either side then, chiselled. Wow. One, two, three, four. So that's the one I need to put me me fence on. Let's get rid of these like that. And then we go one, two, three, four. It's all about fours. This. Anybody noticed the number four featuring heavily today? One, two, three, four. What does that look like? See, I don't want to put a full fence around the outside because if I put like one gate and people are forced to go in through that gate, that gate's never going to be used. People are going to be chopping the fence down, you see. So, um, so I'm going to be a little bit careful here. In fact, this whole four thing might not work here. One, two, three, four. So that means, oh no, that's not going to work. So one, two, three, four. So that go like that. I'm not sure this is going to work. Um, one, two, three, four. Mm, already, I can I can see people not liking that fence. Anything that adds. Right, so they can't go straight to the field, and that's what people are going to want to do. So, how about if we, I don't know, if we start it, let's just change this up. Let's change it up a little bit. We start it there, maybe, and go, so that's four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try eight. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's get rid of these ones. We've got to make it as easy as possible for people to access this food because, you know, someone could die of starvation instead of going in a straight line. That could be the, that could be the, you know, between life and death. Like, uh, oh no, I've got to walk around. That extra time it takes to walk around might be their last moments. Dying of starvation. Okay, I'm being a bit over dramatic, like, but you know, it might happen. One, two, three, four. That's not bad, I suppose. It adds a bit of something to it. Maybe some hay bales or something. Um, 
Maybe I should put some like normal farm stuff. Like hay bales, maybe a barrel or two, something like that. Oh look, there's a bot. Uh, what do I? Do? I could, I could turn that way, you know, instead of twisting me out. Like, yeah, I could, I could. No, I'm not. I can't see the TV. Hello there, bot. Bye bye, bot. One, two, three. So that's the fourth one. Oh, we're not doing that though, are we? Right. Okay. So one, two, three. Four. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, it adds a bit of something, but I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. I might have to get some inspiration from some online stuff somewhere counter to eight Woo! i know i know uh, what time on here 6 36 hello there rascam rascam how are you today how's things with rascam uh, i'm back in the fields back in the fields again doing me farmer hello there farmer tyke here how are you doing just trying to make these fields look a bit nicer you know how do you make a field look nice in Minecraft? It's a tough thing. It's very tough. Um, yeah, I definitely need to have a think about this. Maybe some water going around it, maybe, to make it look like it's being irrigated. Um, I am good. I'm good, Rascam. Hope you are too. It's Wednesday. It might not be for you, though, if, you know, if you're... Um, are you from Australia, Rascam? Did I did I remember that right? It's probably Thursday, um, if you are from Australia. Uh, they're in the future, the Australians. They always will be. I love that. Oh, you never said where you're from. Don't then, please don't. Uh, um, oh, you, but you're from the Middle East. Okay, no problem. Well, you don't have to say anything more than that. It's okay. I'm getting. I think I'm getting my people mixed up. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Excal says you're Australian now. Don't argue. <laughs> I'm. I. I am sorry. You're. He's not. They're not Australian. It's just me being silly. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So if we're giving people nationalities, what should I make Excal? I think Excal could be. Uh, I don't know. What should we go? Scottish. Yeah, Excal can be Scottish for a bit there. Make Excal Scottish. Okay. Where's your kilt? Where's your kilt, Excal? I don't know. It's, it's pretty hard to make farmland look nice. Might have to come come back to this. In fact, you know what? Let's put down... Let's finish putting down the fences then. Let's make it all symmetrical. Because otherwise, you know... People's OCD, you know... Uh, um, could I be Atlantean? Of course you can. Uh, squid? With a name like that, I think that's perfect. One, two, three, four. There we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What does that look like as we walk into town? I suppose it looks okay. You know, it looks okay. I just sort that out because I can't see. Uh, maybe a row of flowers around the edges, marigolds to keep the slugs out. Mm, I've heard, is it lavender? Lavender keeps things out as well. Marigolds to keep the slugs out, that's a good one. Hey, we got some keen gardeners here in chat. Marigolds to keep the, keep the slugs out, eh? Ya booms out the window. There you go. See, I told you, Scottish. Gonna nae do nae de gonna no de that. <laughs> my brain hurts just even reading that. Oh, my brain. Yeah, Scottish. Nailed it there. Absolutely nailed it. Hmm, right, okay, yeah. Hmm, yeah, hmm, yeah. Right, okay, let's finish this damn thing and move on to something else. Yeah. Clip it. <laughs> 
I might I might be from the Middle East, but I surely know that Scottish ain't the place. There you go. One, two, three, four. There we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Twitch, clip it. That was funny. I just copied that from Google. Your bums out the window. Gonna no do that. No do that. Is not going to do that. That's what that says. Um, did I sound like Shrek when I did that? Going to need do that. One, two, three, four. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, we could put, oh, I don't know, some barrels or some uh, bales of hay or something around the edge. That might look, might make it look a bit more far me. One, two, three, four. So we got one. Oh, you sound like a Jamaican Shrek. Yeah, man. Spot on. Hey, spot on there, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Use guys. Hey, don't make me bust out my my New York. My New York accent on your asses. Hey, from New York. Use guys. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, it's terribly exciting putting fences up. What did you do during the war, Daddy? Oh, I, I put fences up mainly They're, um, all around Europe. Yeah. Terribly exciting. I can't talk about it, you know. Hush, hush. Top secret, you know. Need to know basis only. One, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Yeah, near do. I don't sound like a Jamaican. Jamaican Shrek. Get out of my swamp, man. Yeah. Sanka, are you a dead man? Aye. Haven't um, haven't Jamaica qualified for the Winter Olympics? The uh, Jamaican bobsleigh team. Did I read that somewhere? I think I did. Ooh, do you know what might look nice? If I put some kind of like flag or something on the corners, perhaps. I think, do you know what? I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave it for now. There's food available. We can, I can figure out the fences. I'm not entirely sure what I was doing with the fences there, to be honest. Um, I'm sure we'll figure something out in time. In time. Want to kiss my lucky egg, donkey? What time we're here? 6.43. I'm probably only going to do another 15 minutes or so, because I am absolutely exhausted today. They're um, absolutely exhausted. I've got a bit of a headache as well. So uh, another 15 minutes left of the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what's that one? Reserved for a monkey ban. Tyke, please. Right, okay. So um, so Squid and um, Steve's friend, Monkey Man, wants to live there. Okay, no problemo. No problemo. As of next Monday, we can do that. We can do that. Um, that one's Steve's house. This one's Trooper's house. I do like this. Nice. Skull. Look at that. Nice skull there. I might actually go around... You know these? Uh, um, I might actually go around all the people that um, have already built a house and remove the top layer of bedrock. Uh, because then they'll be able to put like things like fences. They'll be able to like go to the floor. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll see about that. I'm not going to be doing it today. I'm struggling to <clears throat> struggling today. Not got much energy. Um, the dome is looking nice. I think the whole greenery thing up top probably gonna have to. I don't know. Um, think about that. I think. Mm. Yeah, gonna have to think about that. I'll tell you what, let me jump out, let's jump out of this, and let me jump into, um, I downloaded it, 
What's the hell's that about? Uploading world. That must be new. Never seen that before. Let me jump into this because this, um, because it's got a bigger, a further draw distance, you can actually see all the, well, all of everything at once. Watch this. So I'm in a world right now. Look at that. You can see all of it in its entirety there. Why isn't the draw distance like, like that on realms, eh? Why? I know it's got to be on servers and that, but that looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, obviously this is before I built, I downloaded it before I built that other, um, you know, that other little bit of uh, field. Look at that though. Should we zoom out? Let's zoom out. Let's go right out. Hello there, that one dude. Hello, that one dude. How's that one dude today? I'm just showing everybody what it looks like uh, um, from... I downloaded it as a world. Uh, and this is what it looks like as a world. Yeah, you can see much more. You can see the extent of, you know, everything we've built here. See, from, from here, you can see, like, the back wall. Mm. It does look spectacular. Uh, um, it's the one thing I don't like about, you know... <clears throat> it's the one thing I don't like about realms. Um, you don't really get, you know, a, a draw distance to do your... Um, to do your builds proud... I mean, look how far I can see with that. Look at that. You can see all that landscape. And then there's all this here, look. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's coming along quite nicely, if I do say so myself. It is. It is. And it's all thanks to you, lovely people, building nice houses. I do need to get my finger out, as we say in England, and um, crack on with that outer wall. I probably will do some more on that the weekend. Probably, what day am I working next week? Monday. So, yeah. Uh, um, I'll probably do some more on that Saturday night, I think. Might even just spend the full day doing the wall. Oof, that's going to be a boring day for me. I have to get some tunes on and just power through it, I think. So, yeah, this this outside needs doing, seeing all this. It should be fairly straightforward, though. Uh, and there are large sections like this bit that don't actually need anything doing. So, you know. Hmm. That one dude has binged Mando and Boba Fett, and I'm hyped about the new episode. I've not seen today's yet. I've not seen today's. I will be watching it later. Uh, I'm glad you reminded me, actually, because I do need to... Uh, I do need to watch that. I do need to watch that. Oh, goodness me. Look at that, eh? Look at that. Beautiful. Ah. Anyway, let's get out of this. It's such a shame that the realm doesn't have a draw distance like that. Such a shame. Anyway, come on, let's save the world. Yep, you save the world. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Sinking world data there. More water, less sugar. The music will do the trick. Lots of cups of tea. Um, no sugar. And um, I've got like a, a very sp specific um, uh, playlist that I put on for stuff like this. 90s music. I've got a 90s playlist that is cheesy as hell. It's as cheesy as an extra cheesy pizza. But it's great because I love... I can get stuff done to it. And just bopping away. It keeps me going. I might have to make an 80s playlist as well. Hmm. Anyway, let's get back in the realm. Uh, Arend, that is a good point, actually. That view of the town could inspire some epic names for it. <clears throat> Ar um, I didn't think about that. We do, I think we do really need to start thinking about a name. Uh, um, do you like the tree I made, Tag? Uh, um, let's have a look. Where's, 
I don't know where the tree is. I'll try and head towards you, Squid. Uh, um, Chisel says, I'm 19 minutes into Boba Fett. Stop watching it for the stream. I was on the edge of my seat. <gasps> Ooh, I like the sound of that. That does sound good. Uh, um, right, hold on then. Let's try and find Squid's tree. Oh, this this tree? That looks nice. I do like that. Look at that. Look at that. It turns and it's hard to make nice trees, you know. It's, it's very hard to make a nice looking tree in Minecraft. Uh, um, but I do like that squid. Very nice. Very nice. Anyway, hello there, Imtaz. Hello. How's your day going today? You having a good day today, Imtaz? Or is it I'm Taz? I'm Taz. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. How are you today, Imtaz? Right, I'll tell you what. Let's throw you a biscuit. Let's throw you a biscuit. Imtaz, welcome to the stream. Here we go. I'm going to throw this to you. Are you ready? Catch this. Are you ready? One, two, eat. Huh. There we go, Imtaz. There's a biscuit on its way to your house right now, my friend. Anyway, uh, let's get back to some of this. Hello there, Catzilla20. How are you doing, Catzilla? Welcome. This is a brand new realm you're looking at. Our, um, the old one is currently closed. Our, um, we're working on a brand new realm for people to live in. Mm, it's not quite finished yet. It's not quite finished. Um, we've got some bits and bobs to do. Next Monday is when it's going to open uh, to the public. And people will be able to join it and, you know, build a house. And then from there, you know, go out, explore, build whatever they like out there. So, yeah, that's uh, next Monday. We're going to be opening it to the public. Anyway, Catzilla, how are you doing? Long time no see. How are you, Catzilla? Hope you're good. Hmm, yeah, I do need to do a lot. I very rarely get stuff done on stream. It's not the easiest thing, you know, building and keeping people entertained, you know. Our, um, so I tend to find these days that I get more done off stream when I'm not streaming. However, as soon as we switch it to survival, our, um, that's when the fun's going to begin. That's when we can, you know, that's when we can, oh, we could do all kinds of things. Have adventures and do, I can't wait. I can't wait. Next Monday, bring it on. Hello there, Dot. How's Dot doing today? How are you, Dot? What's up? I don't know. Uh, I think sky, mainly, and the sun. There you go. That's what's up. How are you, Dot? Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Um, yeah, just putting some finishing touches on the realm, which is going to open next Monday. Uh, I need to sort that plot out. Uh, um, that was Brownies, you know, he doesn't play with us anymore now. Um, Who's is this one? Ah, yes, Alarmed. Yep, we've claimed that one. Uh, um, yeah, so next Monday, this is going to open to the general public. And people will be able to come and build a house in these plots and join the realm. Then, I think what we're going to do is, right, this is how it's going to work. Uh, with regards to, to new people joining stuff. Um, they do the steps for joining, you know, as per usual. Um, then I'm not sure where we're going to spawn them in. I think it might be a good idea for me to meet them outside the... Um, do you remember like I used to meet people in the other realm? Uh, um, and then I'd take them to a plot... Maybe if I make them spawn here or something, and then we we go for a walk. We walk this way towards town because you get that you get that kind of you know you get that kind of ooh I'm arriving in town kind of vibe. I'm new in town, ooh, and then I can I could take the person to a plot and say this is your plot. You know, set your spawn point, read the book. I need to write a book, actually. I need to write a simple book. Um, and then you can start building or whatever. There's food outside. Actually, starting where the food is is not a bad idea. That way, at least people will know where food is. Hello, Pegish. Hello, Pegish. How are you today, Pegish? 
They're, um, you're right, Leecham. Town isn't even open and it's already starting to fill up. There's so many of you. There's so many of you regulars. That shows you. That shows you. So let's do a quick count then. How many plots have we got available for new people on Monday? Right, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, 31, that's Papa Judo's that, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, I think I've already done this side, haven't I? Yep. So 43, 43 plots available. So that's 43 people are, um, that we can, you know, that we've got current room for. Are, um, so yeah, there we go. Anyway, are, um, Pegish, hello there. Uh, Excalibur, how you doing? I'm new in town. Hey there, how you doing? Bit of a Joey from friends what's his surname trib tribiani trib something like that i have no idea uh leachim says are you going to clear the inventory of the new joiners when they first born the people that have already been in the realm and looked around i'm going to have to do that for people yep um but any new person that joins i don't think we're going to have to do that for um just do, do you know the people that i've said Oh, you can come in and have a look round if you like. I'll put you in visitor mode. Those people were in creative, so they could have given themselves anything. Those are the people I need to clear the inventory of. Um, so, yeah, I will be doing that for some people. Anyway, uh, Realm opening on Monday. It certainly is. It's opening on Monday. Next Monday, Valentine's Day. Dot says, Tyke is now class teacher. Good evening, class. Could you open your books at the page about, um, I don't know, biscuits? And uh, start eating uh, biscuits, please. Your homework will be to eat three different kinds of biscuits this week. You know what? I was, uh, was going to be a teacher, but uh, I chose a different career path instead. I almost was a teacher. True story. That's a true story right there. Let's go have a look at this. Um, that uh, um, that beacon. Um, that's that's okay actually because it's got any. Um, it's got no uh, what you call it active effects, which are pretty good. Starting a new world and gathering stuff for tools and armor is one of the best things to experience in Minecraft. There we go. Um, so let's pretend we're a new person then. Let me wipe my inventory there. Let's make it daytime so, you know, it's a bit nicer. So pretend I live here. I'll set my spawn like that. Bed is too far away. There we go. Set my spawn point. There's going to be a book there that I'm going to write that tells them it's going to save me having to tell them stuff. You know, if they join and I'm, I'm having to sit here and go, go out the north wall to get your food. Uh, on the south side and east side, there's a there's a mine. I'm going to have to put all this information in the book so they can, you know, they can hang on to the book. They can read it. They can carry it around with them. A guide, you know, a guide a, um, to the realm. A, um, anyway, Joke Tahiti. Hello there. How's your day going? Can I do a raid? Um, what do you mean, Joke Tahiti? What, you'll have to explain, my friend. What do you mean? What do you mean? Rannycraft. Hello, Rannycraft. How are you today? How's your day going? You're having a good one. Right, okay, let's pretend I'm a new person. So, food, first thing. We've got food outside the north gate. That's good. Um, second thing, they're probably going to need wood and stone because, you know, there's, there's nothing in there. Uh, um, hmm. So we're going to need to plant some trees. I suppose I could do that now, actually. I could plant some, 
Um, we'll basically say any tree outside of the city wall, you know, is fair game. You can chop down any tree outside of the city wall. Because uh, we don't want people chopping these trees down over here. Watch this. We don't want these chopping down. Um, one thing that I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to have to put deny blocks underneath all the completed stuff. Um, I'm going to have to ask people, is your house finished? Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to have to do that in uh, Discord because I know like D-Man's is not finished. Um, yeah, but there is, I suppose there is a way around that. I could put deny blocks down and give D man, um, like operator, um, and he could carry on in, uh, creative to build his house because, you know, yeah. Anyway, that's giving me a headache thinking about all that. Um, so we need a wood, we need to plant trees. Um, we need, the mines are partially up. There's another mine over here, I think. Um, I'll come back to chat in a minute. Uh, um, I know that one dude's put a good name there. Uh, um, I will have a look in a sec. Uh, um, Rani Craft, it's been so good. What about yours? My day's been all right there. Joke, Tahiti, are you still there? Uh, um, what did you mean about the raid? You've not answered me there. Can you do a raid? I don't know what you mean. Um, anyway, if you mean on Twitch, well, I'll, I'll let you answer me first before I answer that. Right, so the, what is it, the Western Gate, the, the Western Gate mine is not really f fully working yet. Um, is that mine entrance okay? I, 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 I suppose it is, um... Not a good time to ask me stuff. I've got a massive headache. Uh, um, not a good time. I'll forget what I say, basically. Um, anything I say on stream, I'm likely to forget. So um, don't quote me on anything I say on stream. Because half of my brain's thinking, what do I say next to, to keep you lot entertained? The other half is like, I don't know what that half's doing. So anything I say on stream, just, I'll probably forget. This is finished though, more or less. I need to need to sort out the. Um, so this is the look of it. That's how we're gonna have the the mines. You know, a room. We're gonna be having the pixel art over the um, yeah, over the other mines. Oh, I can't wait till I can't wait till Monday. It's gonna be more fun playing in survival. I never thought I'd say that, but you know, it will be. Oh, I've got a massive headache as well. Uh, um, it's going to be more fun playing in survival. Tuesday, Putin schedule. There we go. Do you remember that yesterday? That clip that GP took? <laughs> yeah. Tyke out of context. Nothing quite like it. 15 minutes have come and gone for what it's worth. Uh, um, they have. They have. Right, uh, so let's just have a quick look round. Um, See, I like this, but only thing I'm not too sure is these pillars, because if we're having the fast horses, you know, um, it might be a bit of a, you know, we could accidentally like, oh, bugger, oh, oh bugger, oh, oh, bugger, oh, bugger. You might bash into them. So, I don't know, we might have to get rid of those. Or just embed them in the walls, I think. I think, was it Blaster that made this? I think Blaster's been making this. Um, we might have to just push them back into the walls, I think. Just to give it like a... You know, if two people are, head, are flying down here on horses, and they move aside, one... I don't, I don't know, it's just for ease of movement. Look at that though. I do like this though. Looks very nice. I do like that. Where does it go, this road? Let's find out. I think this is the longest road out of town. Do you know what as well? I think we should give the um the roads names as well. Yep, that was blaster. Some good work that. I like that. 
The mix of some spruce and some jungle is triggering me. There we go. Her, um, so these um, these roads, um, yeah, um, we're going to call them names. Like this one's going to be the Great Southern Road, obviously. And the one that goes north is going to be the Great Northern Road. Uh, the one that goes west is going to be the Great Western Road. And that's right, the Great Eastern Road. And then we'll have to come up with some names for the streets. The The one that's the longest, I want to call Short Street. You know, because every city has some kind of joke name, troll name there. Or, um, you know, naming the longest street the shortest one. That's what we do in England. I see you spent a while thinking of those names. I certainly did. I certainly did. Anyway, I think we're going to end it there for today. I've um, done two hours. I've noticed on the days when I'm working, it I don't know, it just takes it out of me a little bit more doing streams. I've, um, so, yeah, I'm really struggling now. I'm going to end it there. Uh, uh, Serpent's Way, that's a good one. Let me go back up um, and have a look, because that one dude did say a name for the realm. Terra Malta. It's Latin for the land of plenty. Uh, um, yeah, I like it. Maybe we, yeah, maybe we could work in some Latin. I don't know, though. You've got to imagine, like, these 13 and upwards people are, um, you know, um, 13 then upwards. Uh, they're going to be like, what's that stand for, Tyke? Uh, Tychus Latinus uh, Relmus. I don't know. Some Latin stuff sounds awesome, um, but some not so. Anyway, thank you for watching today, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, um, Dot says, build a bakery because you need a cookie. Cool world. Not a bad idea. We do. We do. We'll build one eventually, Dot. Don't worry. We got you. We're going to build lots of things. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. Same time tomorrow. I am working again tomorrow, same time, so I will probably be a bit tired again tomorrow. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm going to have to really work on this during the weekend because there is lots to be done. And sadly, at the minute, I'm not getting much done on stream. But that's something else to worry about another time. Thank you for watching. Moderators, thank you for moderating today. Patreons, thank you so much for your support. Uh, um, Rannycraft, I'm so sorry. We're ending today right now. I am so sorry, Rannycraft. Uh, um, but I will be back tomorrow, so don't worry. Uh, um, yeah, anyway. Uh, um, have a good one, everybody. I'm Tyke. You are awesome. I'll be back tomorrow, 5 p.m. GMT. Until then, keep it safe. Keep it secret. Wear your mask and wash your hands as well, all right? And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.